Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. Call somebody out. I just want to start, but I won't do but that. When I'm Country not. Wayne was on here, yeah. I, first of all, I don't know Country Wayne at all. Right. But I watched his video. I, I give him his credit for him making all that money. I was listening to him like, oh, what? how did you do this? Right. You know, I love his hustle. Smart dude. I mean, he making millions off of it. Wish I, I could, but he said one statement that I disagreed with, country. I disagreed with you. What was the statement? I, I think he said, and if I'm wrong, you correct me. Okay. Said something about if anybody's in a comedy club still, that means you're not doing anything. Something like that mm -hmm. to that. I don't know if he okay. was answering Faison. Right. I think it was him and Faison right. going at it. Okay. Because Faison's my dude. Right. Faison. Faison, go, everybody be going at Faison. I love Faison. Goes to clubs. Right. You're not a real comedian. I right. think he said that. Am okay. I wrong? Something to that effect. And I go, but I think he was talking about him. Because, okay, like, please, because I was like, you are wrong right. about that. Right. I'm in the comedy clubs. DL's in the com comedy clubs are still being built. And there not still comes to the comedy clubs. But I think what he was, what, what I, he was, I'm just saying, yeah. I might be, I might be in no, I think what he was saying yeah. is that that's his only choice is to do those. The people that you mentioned can do arenas. They can do theaters. Yeah. He's saying that he probably, the only thing he can do. Okay. Is, I'm like, yeah. right. I'm, so what does that make me? Because no, it's no, no, not no, easy. No, no. First of all, told me, man, was hey, this is a message for, uh, shout out to Shannon Sharp for representing me on his uh, club, Shay Shay, when Godfrey tried to come and say whatever, whatever. Well, Godfrey and all the other comedians who've been hating on me a long time. Let me tell y'all something. Every comedian to me funny. Now, if you want some advice on probably why you never gained that audience, because, bro, you the audience you speaking to just ain't. The pop audience. I don't know what you talking to. I might not be fun to you because I was, I was speaking to the streets of where I come from. All the hustlers, not the jack boys, but the hustlers and the bad and, and to the bad ones. I always kept the bad women and the people who get that money, the people who work hard. You know what I'm saying? Not you know hustling, they just selling drugs and all that. I'm talking about people who work hard, take care of their family. Black people play spades. Uh, give you some advice. You out there talking about them jokes about whatever you talking about, bro? If you've been in this game that long. And that audience ain't came to you yet? Switch it up. Switch it up, my boy. It's subject matter. And your subject just don't matter. So all these comedians out here that got country Wayne name in their mind, bro, don't be mad because your girl, I mean your girl mind, what you mad about, because all the aunties and all the, the, the black women, we love country Wayne. And all the real ones, all the real dudes out there who really about their family, hey, country Wayne, my boy, you would never get them. Your hair cut on that interview, if you seen it, that's why they don't rock with you. That's why ain't no you. I'm riding through Chicago right now. Cause I got a show at a theater that I'm gonna make a hundred K plus in the real Chicago streets. Gonna be in. Ain't nobody in Chicago got that haircut and talking like that and leaning like that when they talking. So all the comedians who got my name in your mind, y'all was the lame dudes in high school who the girls ain't like, and this why y'all can't get it. Cause you still mad about the girl who dealt with old boy. You in the comedy club, you ain't get you ain't no real comedian. I didn't say that. It was comedian coming out coming for me who and I said he can't he he forced to go to a comedy club. I go to comedy club still. The comedy clubs is what we came from. One well, for the comedy clubs, I wanna be where I where I'm at. I still go there to work on material. I'm gonna continue to go back. Shout out to Shannon Sharp for stopping that because he was trying to say something that I didn't say on there, bro. Listen here, man. Only thing I gotta do is call me for it by Wayne, how you doing what you doing? I got the people, bro. The coach ain't a lot of keep my name out your mind, my boy, for real though. Like I ain't, I ain't one of no comedians. Everybody who really know me now, this the real Wayne. This the Wayne Coley. Bump all that country Wayne stuff, man. I don't play like that. That's why you don't see me hanging with nobody and all that. Cause I was no, I was not no class clown. I ain't popping no pencils throwing across class, my boy. Yeah, yeah. So. Man, congratulations to you, but if you want some advice, you got my number. Don't be going on there talking, man. Think gonna get so clout off me because Water. let's get let's get a special out. You to my son, Netflix, and give you the money. Boy, you don't know. I put up my own paper. You know what I'm saying? You begging for money. If your grandma what? what? Keep my name out your mind, man. All y'all for real. My guy Godfrey, listen, brother. I saw your interview. It was great. I love your energy. You've always been a good nigga. Funny nigga, smart nigga. True to yourself. This country wing mother This hillbilly ain't never been outside his territory wherever he from the Appalachians of where the hills where they their own families I don't know where the from 
But if I see the nigga on stage, I'm snatching this nigga off. That's on Emerald. I'm snatching this. I'm sick of the bullshit. All these goofy want to talk from a safe place, from Club Shay Shay, sucking corporation. I done said too much. This summer, I'm snatching niggas off stage. Godfrey, this nigga like he don't know that you'll fold this nigga up like a napkin and throw him in the uh, Hudson River. He don't know that. He think because you're smiling and you got the, the, the he, he don't know, Godfrey. He's goofy. He's a hillbilly. He just got electricity. F this nigga. Country wing mother. You inaccurate, dumb, stupid mother. Hey, man, listen, man, check it, man. Man, I'm I'm just sitting back, man, and, and you know, I got in this game, and when I got in this game, I really, you know, I came in this game interviewing a lot of different people, a lot of different guys, that brothers that look like me, man. And y'all already know, you know, I deal with... Faison, that's my guy. I deal with Country Wayne. I deal. I, I had never met Godfrey, but Godfrey went on Shannon Sharp show, and I know that Godfrey and Faison rock because he. I, I've always asked about. It. Matter of fact, he shouted Godfrey out on my channel when he was talking about uh, the the Godfrey. Uh, you know, just the skill set of his comedy. So Faison really rocks with Godfrey. I believe I seen him on his show as well. Because I think Godfrey has a, a podcast. But these guys, man, um, they come up in the same, you know, somewhat the same area. Uh, uh, actually, Faison's going to be a somewhat of a, a, a mentor to Godfrey. But um, this whole comedy game, man, the whole comedy world, Shannon Sharp, man, shout out to you, man. Like I said, you you dealing with a lot of stuff that I, I, I dealt with that already, you know, I, and been dealing with it as far as the comedians coming and you had actually Cat Williams over there that's topped the year off. Then you come back and you have um, uh, Country Wayne. Then you have um, Godfrey. Godfrey, I don't know. When you start bringing these dynamics on there, these guys are running in the same circles a lot of time. So, and, and you have to be aware of that because as you do this, people are going to come for you, eventually what ends up happening, and this is one thing that I always think about, is when these guys come back together and solve their, resolve their differences, you might be left standing in the cold as one that, that pretty much, much ignited what was going on. I think about that all the time, being a part, and it may not concern you, but Shannon Sharp, man, you're doing a great job of it. I love that show. Love the show, but it's going to always be... Uh, a, a thing where people going to get it off on there. That's what they're going to do. And they're going to come for you. They're going to call you all type of stuff. They're going to call you gay, weak. That's what they do. When The more you go up, the more people are going to come for you. Even though you just being a, a moderator, you know, I, I sit back and watch. I deal with these guys myself, so I get it. But, man, kudos to you for figuring it out. A lot of that, going, your know, success is pretty much uh, uh, one thing I, I remember what Frank Lucas uh, was told by on that on that movie, uh, uh, American Gangster, Dominique came over his house. He said, "Frank, look at you. You're successful." He said, "Success. It's got enemies, Frank." He said, "You can be successful and have enemies, or you could be unsuccessful and have friends." So a lot of times when you see this happening, the success that you you get. A lot of times people going to come for you. And to be honest with you, this is not Faison's first issue with anyone. Um, I'm pretty sure Godfrey, too, because they've been in the game so long. But for Country Wayne, Country Wayne came in this thing. And I always tell Country Wayne when, we, when, when I do get to talk to him, it's like, man, hey, nobody never seen nothing like you. Nobody seen nobody come up in, the, in this era and just do comedy and, at the magnitude that you're doing it at. So I, I get it. You, but you look like an alien the way that you're doing things in the world that you're in is the way I tell him. But one thing about him, he wears a Jesus popping chain. And that's the one thing that I give him, you know, because a lot of times you got to look at his comedy. He don't curse. He don't, he don't, it's a lot of things he don't do. And that's what drew me to him from the jump. He'll, he, he can, he can hit a crowd from 
16 all the way up to 80. I remember being at his show, actually, uh, the, the, the guy, the MC comes out and say, how many of y'all in here are 18? How many of y'all in here? And it went all the way up to 70. People were standing up because that's the kind of people that he pulled together. But again, Faison been doing this since he was 14 and he's now in his 50s, mid 50s. So he gave his whole life to comedy as well. So at the end of the day, he he feel and as others in that realm going to feel they paved the way. So there's a merit of respect that they're going to want to, you know, uh, feel. And, and I get that as well. It got to be some balance. Godfrey. He spoke on the fact that he felt the way because the comedy, you know, the, the comedy that he does, he's pretty much saying the comedy. I'm going to these comedy clubs. That don't mean we're losing presence. So that don't mean we're not who we are as comics and all that. And that don't mean we're not on the level that we need to be on. And he felt offended in that. So it's a crazy world out here in this comedy world, because you might say one thing and another guy's listening to that works in that same realm and he's going to feel away. Now, Country Wayne, like I said, an alien. He does things that nobody's done. Nobody in the Internet level has done what Country Wayne is doing. None of the guys from Desi Banks to any of those guys have done what he's doing for as on the level that he's doing it at on the filling up arenas. And I get that. So he's on a level in his own time. But these OGs and the guys, there are people like Faison taught me there's levels. So you got Fluffy who fills up stadiums. You got different people that fills up stadiums. So there's a different feel. So at the end of the day, I just I just hope everybody can figure it out because these guys are all dope. Godfrey, um, Country Wayne, Faison, they all dope. They all men. They all brothers that look like me. Family men that stand on morals. And this internet sometimes can have people looking all this way or that way. But you got some good brothers here, all three of them. So, man, I just had to come on and say something because I know I've been in the midst of this ever since this thing jumped off. And God put me in the midst of it for a reason. And I know these are all good brothers. I, like I said, I had never got to meet Godfrey yet, but Country Wayne I met, talked with, good dude. Phase on for show, y'all already know he's always on the show. So I just wanted to come and say something just to show credibility that all them brothers that look like me are credible brothers, and I know they're going to figure it out. And I'm here to help figure it out for sure. So uh, anytime I'm talking, I'm talking in love. I'm trying to figure out a way, man, we got to figure this out to get this thing resolved. And, and Faison know that. Country Wayne know that. And Godfrey, uh, if I ever speak to him, he going to know that too because I'm a stand-up brother. So I'm always come with that real. And, um, man, love all these guys. And, can't, and I hope y'all getting that money. I know you is. It's the weekend, and I know how y'all roll. I've been to these shows. You niggas is packing these shows out, man. So kudos to y'all. But reality TV, I'm finna bring her on, man, and, and 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 let her give me her opinion on everything because she be watching the show, and she watch my show, and she see all this stuff going on. What's up, reality TV? What's up, what's up? I'm, I'm just like, we got the comedians out here beefing like, I don't know what's going on, but um, <laughs> he took me for a loop when he said snatching somebody off the stage. But um, I just wish we all could just get along. Oh, you sound like Rodney King. Well, let me be power to the people. I just wish that we could all just get along and just get some money. That's yeah. It. I just at the end of the day, it's just all about making money and feeding our family. So it shouldn't matter how somebody getting their money. Should nobody be counting nobody pockets. Cause we all make money in different ways. So I I don't have too much to say about that because that's just all them guys getting money, and that's the crazy part about it. All those guys are dope. Man, Godfrey is a hell of a per impersonator. I seen that 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 Shannon Sharp interview was cold. Shannon Sharp, like I said again, this nigga the MP MVP of the year. Ain't nobody touching Shannon Sharp when he come down to this podcast and dealing with these people. These guys, you know what I mean, on a whole nother elite level when it come down to sitting down on that couch. And like I said, we get a lot of stuff over there at Boss Talk 101, man, but. I just want them boys to know, man, that, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, man, we all brothers. We all look alike. And I, I'm standing on business for family. I always tell people, man, family is more gangster than anything else. You know what I mean? Yes. Country, Country Wayne got, you know, 11 kids. And, um, you know, I don't know how many Godfrey got, but I do know Faison. You know, he got a baby girl, you know, and at the end of the day, 
you know, all these guys are family men, dope dudes, man, and the devil really be trying to play games. This. I do I do wanna say this. Um our community um thrives off of controversy. I don't see no other race making money how we make our money. It's like we don't react to nothing but the controversy. If somebody doing something positive, no views, no no nothing. So in the comedian world, that's supposed to be our happy place. So to, to bring all that beef and all that, it kind of messes up the, the aspect of comedy. Because it's no longer comedy. Now y'all beefing. Yeah. We're we not laughing no more. Yeah, we, we definitely... It's starting to get to the point where it's not funny. No, these, these guys are definitely going to always be funny on that stage. And you, but, yeah, but you saying, it, but you saying you when it, up somebody. correct, when it comes yeah. down to just the, the, the lives and the, cause like Country yeah. Wayne went live uh, after Godfrey's interview, then Faison went live and basically um, they're getting it off their chest. You know what I mean? It's a type yeah, of therapy when they get it off their chest too, though. It's but, just getting personal. That's it. And I don't, and I feel like in the entertainment world, a lot of the things shouldn't be taken so personal. Wow. Man, well, hey, reality TV, man, thank you, man. Thank you for your comments. I'm always going to keep it real, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, just just make sure, guys, you guys uh, uh, let us know in the comments, man, what you think about this, man. How can we How can we get our, all three of these brothers? How can we, not just them, the Cat Williams, all these different people that are speaking out, Corey Holcomb, all these different guys, man, the comedy world, like I say, it went it went ballistic. Uh, really, it's been doing. It's been happening behind the scenes. It's just coming to the forefront of how things are really are. And to be honest with you, it's something that I seen real early getting in this game. And all those guys are rich as hell, dope. I talk to them and I interview them from Ari Spears to all these guys you see on the show. Uh, all of the different comics you've seen set on my my platform, dope dudes. And I will be sitting back down with them again. As time progresses, hopefully, and I pray for all of them. I pray for the comedy world. We love all of man, we love all the comedy. Man, we gotta keep this thing going, man. And, and but we gotta keep it going, and we gotta pull up, man, and, and and show up on that stage, man, and let it rip. Eddie Griffin, you know what I'm saying? The, Mike Epps. I've been listening to Mike Epps lately, man. I've been like, I I've been sleeping on my Mike Epps a little bit. And I was up in I was uh, I was up in uh up in uh, Chicago with him. And I was like, dang, man, once I started checking him out, like, a little bit closer, because, you know, I know Day Day, you know what I'm saying? But the nigga, he, a bad, he a bad boy, man. So, man, but to get back to it, man, love Country Wayne, love Faison, love Godfrey, all these brothers, dope as ever. And like I said, I got to get, I got to get Godfrey. I got to get Godfrey. I got to get Godfrey on Boss Talk 101, man. Y'all get in these comments. Go tag Godfrey. Tell him, hey, man, you need to go on Boss Talk 101, man, for sure. And Mike Bless, man. Mike Bless over there with Country Wayne. That's my guy, too. You've seen him on Boss Talk 101. You've seen Jordan Jackson on Boss Talk 101. All these guys are part of that, that whole uh, Country Wayne um, uh, deal as well. I deal with all these comedians from... Uh, the people phase on the link me with with Scruncho, all these guys, man. Um, with with, with comedian Rob, all these boys, man, they dope, man. Like I said, man, uh, even introducing that Chris, that Chris Spence guy, man. Shout out to all these comedian, man. Get on that stage because in it, day in day out, Bubba Dub. These this ain't no easy win when they get up on that stage either, and everybody ain't doing the level that they acting either. I'm I'm a I'm the I consume this stuff. And Faison Love, funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie, Country Wayne, funny as hell. Bubba Dub, funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? Chico Bean, Carlos Miller, all these, man, he do. K Dub, these niggas is crazy. I done interviewed a lot of people, man. These niggas is funny. And I ain't gonna lie, I can't wait to interview the next one of them. I got some stuff set up for y'all. Y'all keep watching Boss Talk. Shout out to Carlos Miller, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Listen, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and join that membership, man. Yeah, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.